What's good, y'all? It's the Knights, Knights of the Wilderness, Brother Yazoo. Brother Yavri. And Brother Kenya. We're going to start off with Colossians chapter 3, verse 2. Set your mind on things above, not on earthly things. So basically, we had to, we, like, this whole video, bro, we can't be distracted. Like, this is what it's about. We cannot be distracted. We have to be setting our minds on the most high and can't be distracted by all the, the things that, the vices that's used against us around us. Because, you know, we're in the land of Babylon. Like, so it's going to be real messed up. Yeah, real right. Because that's basically the whole setup of Babylon. It's set up so that you constantly can never take your mind off of the things of the world, the things that are constantly in your face at all times. You constantly have a bunch of different distractions. You got, um, you got like social media, you got games, you got just all the music. Of music, you got like girls for, for women, it could be uh, like men and all types of stuff. It's just worrying about all the wrong things. So that's why it says, set your mind on things above, bro, and not worrying about things on this earthly plane. Because the things above, it's going to take you out of these things. Like, this is what's going to help you be, be cured from these things. But when you set your mind only on the things that are most high. Mm -hmm. So, really, what we really had to be worrying about is the main thing should really be getting into these scriptures. Like, one of the biggest devices, like, saying is, like, one of his main goals is, to, is going to be to keep you out of the scriptures. Like, if you actually take the time out of your day to sit down and read your Bible and get to understand what's going on around you, then it was, it's going to give you a renewal of the mind. It's going to give you that spiritual reset, give you them new eyes so that you can understand what's really going on. But because the devil don't want you to be able to see truth and seek truth, he's going to give you, put a million things in your face. That's why we got these. You know, it's, it's, it's a million things that's compacted into this phone in itself. And that's just the phone that's going to just keep your mind. Like, sometimes people can spend, like, three straight hours just scrolling, scrolling, scrolling. Like, it's almost robotic. And they're not really consuming any real information. You know what I'm saying? This is a battle between the, the flesh and the spirit. Because when you set your mind on earthly things, that all pleases the flesh. When you set your mind on the things above, that pleases the spirit. Like, we have to start this flesh, feed the spirit. You know what I mean? We have to be spiritual beings. So we have to be walking in the spirit. You can't be walking in the flesh. And that's right. of the world. And that brings me to... uh psalms 119 and 15 it says i will meditate in thy precepts and have respect unto thy ways so it's saying meditating unto the precepts so when you read in the scriptures it's not just reading it because i'm pretty sure we all had a certain point where we done seen verses like everybody has seen a bible verse before probably tried to read it once or twice but in order to get that true understanding you had to sit on it and think of it so you can uh, attain that spirit of truth so you can really start to see the world for how it is and see how the scriptures parallel with what's really going on. That's why the Most High gives us scriptures so we can open our eyes to what everything's going on. When we get in them scriptures, we really get enlightened by everything. We start to see. He gives us eyes to see. So, so that's why we always got to be reading the scriptures. Mm -hmm. And the whole, really the thing being here, especially specifically on this land, is like we just have so many distractions. Like even the things that we might think are important, like, like it could be like your schooling it could be money that you 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 would think like this oh everybody's on this like your main motivation is just get this bag get this bag but you never set your mind on to anything on high so what that has done that made money your master so a distraction one of the a large distraction is idolatry you can fall into idolatry through like any type of way any type of way possible so and speaking of uh, money <clears throat> you got matthew 6 and 24 where it says, no man can serve two masters, for either he will hate the one and love the other, or else he will hold to the one and despise the other. You cannot serve God and mammon. And if you don't know what mammon is, that's like a name for like a God of money or it gives you blessings through fortune. So that's basically worshiping money. And especially in this land, that's like the main thing that is prioritized. That's what like, it runs off of. Like mm -hmm. America's a big corporation. Exactly. So it's... It, we have our minds we've been trained like robotically like to think just everything's about money 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 it's just all about money this career i gotta get this job a new way to get money everywhere you step you're spending money so it's putting you in this cycle where you think you just had to keep making money not saying that money is not important because it is important to have money as a defense because that's what the bible says it is money is a defense but it's not money can't be your god because when you wake up and the first thing you're thinking before you think about talking to the most high, you're worrying about going and getting some money or you're worrying about how you're going to get some money. Like then that's money becoming your God. 
And that's gonna lead you down a bad path. Cause then it's like, all right, well, what am I gonna do for this money? Then you start thinking of things outside of the most high. So that's why we have to strictly be on the most high first. Mm -hmm. So, <clears throat> and you got first Corinthians chapter seven and 35. And it says, and this I speak to you, this I speak for your own profit. Not that I may cast a snare upon you, but for that which is comely, that ye may attend upon the Lord without distraction. So it's about the whole basis of our life is supposed to be focusing on the most high. Like we got so much going on around us, like all the time. It's hard to just sit here and take that time to yourself and just focus on the most high. That's who created you. That's who knows you better than anybody else. So it's like we need that time to ourselves to be in the quiet, to pray, to get into the scripture. We need all that. Cause Satan, Satan goes against that. Everything he has in the world, it takes you away from. It takes you away from praying. It takes you away from fasting with the food. It just takes everything, all his vices, take you away from being becoming one with the Most High. So that's why we have to stay focused on this journey. Mm -hmm. And that that also goes into another scripture. You got uh, Genesis four and seven, where it says, "If thou doest well, shalt thou not be accepted? And if thou doest not well, sin lieth at the door, and unto thee shall be his desire." and thou shalt rule over him. So it's showing, like, first it says, send light at the door if you're not doing well. So if you're not taking yourself, like how they say, like, idle time is the devil's playground. If you have too much time, <clears throat> all the time that you spent, you spend being distracted, that's idle time. You're not pursuing your actual purpose because none of us were really put here to be worrying about things of the world. We spiritual beings, we're just having a, like a fleshly experience. So you're still supposed to be focused on the things of the spirit. Idle time is very fleshly. That's like you said, Satan's playground. So that's when he jumps in and puts any type of thought in your head to just go go off balance. So we can't be doing it. Can't allow that to happen. Like I was saying, like and unto thee shall be his desire, and thou shalt rule over him. So all these things they become your god. It becomes an idol. So now all these things that you're worrying about, it, if you're a man, it could be a woman if you can like, or just women in general, if you whoremongering out here, you constantly chasing females, you constantly worrying about girls, girls, girls. They, these women literally become your God, or that woman could become your God. If you're worrying about money all the time, if you're always worrying about the game, social media, clothes, like all that stuff, those will become your God. That's what you're worshiping. So that's idolatry. That's why it says flee idolatry. Exactly. <clears throat> so... I'm going to take it into uh, Titus chapter 3, verses 3 through 5. At one time, we were too foolish, disobedient, deceived, and enslaved by all kinds of passions and pleasures. We lived in malice, envy, being hated, and hating one another. But when kindness came, when kindness and love of God, our Savior, appeared, he saved us, not because of righteous things we have had done, but because of his mercy. He saved us through the washing of rebirth and renewal by his Holy Spirit. So basically, like, there's always a time when we was all like we all started real worldly like we all lived worldly before this truth we all was real worldly like we we was wasn't following the most high we was of the world but when the most high came to us he knocked on our door and he basically saved us he pulled us out the world and we he wanted us to follow it's all for a reason because we chosen and that's why i don't know i, don't, I forget which book it's in but it actually says like love not the world you're not supposed to you're not supposed to be of the world you because israel as a whole we're supposed to be set apart people especially his chosen people specifically we're supposed to be set apart we're not supposed to be of the world like everything the world's doing we're supposed to be set apart from that because most of it is evil damn near all of it is evil so we're not supposed to be doing all that you know what i'm saying so <clears throat> i got another verse right here this is in galatians it's chapter 5 and verse 16 saying this i say then walk in the spirit and ye shall not fulfill the lust of the flesh like that's walking in the spirit is worrying about the not worrying but focusing on the things of the spirits focusing on the spiritual realm because that's a whole world in itself everything that happens here is happening spiritually you know what i'm saying that's a whole world so you have to focus on that world recognize what's going on around you in a spiritual aspect and not just in a worldly aspect because then you're going to be a bot you're going to be constantly Thank caught up in this cycle you're going to be lost you're going to be blind Staying in the cycle of just doing bad is all against the most high. Mm -hmm. So it's saying, don't fulfill the lust of the flesh. Most of the things that you want to do, or like all the things that's pleasing to you, it's only pleasing to your flesh, just this body right here. But the thing about this flesh that you're trapped in, it's like, it's not really worrying about the aftermath. 
It's not worrying about acting because this flesh not gonna go with you. Whether you go high or low with it, it's not. This flesh not gonna go with These you. These are all just worldly pressures. Mm -hmm. So when when you when you thinking about like being overly lustful or when you thinking about all this money or when you just thinking about like or drugs or anything that's just pleasing the flesh that just feel good to your body, eating like unhealthy foods and all that. It's like everything that's t everything that feels good is not good for you. That's what it seems like most of the time. Everything that feels good is not really good for you. It's like it's only temporary pleasures. That's what it's all is. Long term, yeah. it's always gonna have a bad negative effect on you. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, basically, like that's pretty much to sum it up. Like, focus, walk in the spirit, focus on the things on above. Don't worry about the world, like because if you get caught up into this worldly like cycle, you gonna be lost forever. You know what I'm saying? Try to get them eyes to see. You know what I'm saying? It says, Focus on things of the spirit. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It says in the scriptures, a lot of people have eyes but can't see and ears but they can't hear. So it's like you have to try to get that, get that renewal of the mind, be reborn, and be able to see things in the spiritual aspect and just flee from idolatry, flee from all these distractions. It's actually another verse <clears throat> about these temptations that's going to come because mind you, once you try to stop these things, that's when the most temptation is going to come. Like, once you're trying to stop doing stuff, it's like when you try to, like, stop maybe eating unhealthy or something. That's when, like, the most junk food is going to be the most appealing to you. That's when you're going to be, like, wanting it the most. But you have to resist that. Because See, that's all Satan's testing. He's going to test you. Mm -hmm. when, when you take a righteous path, a narrow path, he's always going to try to get in the way of that. Mm -hmm. That's why you have to be strong. You have to be have the most high on your side at all times. This is a spiritual bat battle. It's spiritual warfare. Because, best believe, like, a lot of times when we get caught up in temptation, like, it's, it seems like it's never a way out. Like, it seems like like we just have to do it. Like, or this is just something like, I, ain't, I don't even got no choice or like something like that. You just feel like you don't even got no option. But... You got to understand that the Most High will always make a way out of temptation for you. Everything that you feel like you just got to fall into or you feel like you're going to relapse into the same cycle. First Corinthians chapter 10 verse 13 says, There hath no temptation taken you, but such as is common to men. But God is faithful, who will not suffer you to be tempted above that ye are able but will with the temptation also make a way to escape that you may be able to bear it. So that's just showing like every single thing that comes to you, it's a way out. It's always a way to it's walk It's always away. a way up. It's just up to you to take it. Because mm -hmm. we, 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 we always going to have this free will. But when we start making a conscious choice to say no and walk away and start to actually fight these like because the most high is never going to test us above what we can handle every mm -hmm. test every temptation we get we can handle it he knows that that's why he's allowing us to do it he's allowing satan to do that because he knows we can be strong you know we can get through it you mm -hmm. feel me so you can't be tested i mean you can't be can't fall to this test mm -hmm. he's literally making a way out for you you just got to choose to take it like everything you fall into you can always say no you can always walk away you can always fight it, you know, because it's never to be at peace with no demons. You know what I'm saying? Most people say they're fighting demons, but they're not really fighting the demons a lot. Most people are actually at peace with them demons because they're just accepting it. they just accepting what's, what's antagonizing, what's tormenting them. But that's not what we're supposed to do. We're actually supposed to fight. That's what it goes into. It's real warfare out here. It is. Spiritual warfare. Mm -hmm. So he's saying, like, he's not going to, it says, who will not suffer you to be tempted above that you are able. So it's like, he's not going to give you a battle that you can't handle. Everything, everything that comes your way, you're going to be able to fight it. You're going to be able to defeat it. Just know that everything, no matter how heavy the weight seems, like, it's going to be a way to fight. It's always a way out of it. You can always pray for strength. Most High's always there to help you through it all. Like, it's not, it's not like you're all alone. He's there to help you. So just pray for strength. If you see yeah. your weakness, some, just pray for strength. He's going to strengthen you. you feel me? Exactly. I'm saying like all in all the days and all the scriptures you never see the most high forsake the righteous he never abandons the righteous people those that are making a conscious effort to actually try to do the right thing that's what he sees you know what i'm saying he sees who's not really trying he sees who's just at peace with like sin and all that so he's just he, he gonna let them rock but at the same time he's always gonna fight for the righteous so we just gotta always remember that and be strengthened you know what i'm saying exactly but so, i'm yavri yeah and i'm yazo and I'm Kenya. You know, we just gonna cap it off right there, you know. Nice of the world. Nice of the world.